There was also a good night for the Republic of Ireland, a 1-0 victory at home to Finland. Um, we spoke at half-time how Finland were probably the better side for that first half. We get the goal from Evan Ferguson. The drama continues in the second half with Cuevin Kelleher saving a penalty. But crucially, Ireland get the win. Yeah, Ireland, we, we, we got the win. But I, I think if you're in that Finnish dressing room, the manager will be saying, look, lads, that was more than acceptable. If we play more games like that than we don't, we will win the majority. So a little bit of an element to look from, from Ireland. But there was positive signs within the game. Sammy Schmodick's running in behind, I thought was a big, big plus. So often we keep passive possession and teams are able to shape their press against us. So running in behind, I thought was a big plus. Cuivin saving a penalty is a yeah. big plus for him. Little confidence booster from him. But defensively, we still look a little bit all over the place and we'll see a little bit later on with the finished chances that so often Cullen and Knight will just vacate midfield and go and press the ball. That's brilliant. We want you to get after the ball, but it's got to be with a head and with a brain in your head. You can't just vacate that space if you do, even teams like Finland who aren't, you know, European heavyweights, they will create chances against us. So brilliant we've got the three points. Brilliant we look like we can score goals, but defensively we still look a little bit all over the place at times. Gary, yeah. yeah, I was going to say that Stephen Kenny would have would have likened some of the look that maybe, you know, Hamer got yeah. this evening. It's incredible because it's not just tonight, it's the two games. Yeah. All the fine margins went in our favour. You think about the chance that Finland had away, header just goes past the far post late on, we got the other end and score a goal. And as Keith said there, two posts where they really should have scored. Cuevin makes a brilliant save. And as much as um, Keith's right in terms of defensively, we still don't look that solid. I thought the two centre-halves, in kind of response to their managers saying they lack presence, I thought they were excellent. Collins and Scales got into good areas and defended. But the problem is, is that the opposition are getting to our centre-halves far too easily. So defensively, you were impressed. Keith, Keith, who kind of caught the eye this evening? I know you mentioned Sammy Smodix. Who were the players that you, that you were impressed by from an Ireland point of view? Well, I, I, I think Schmodix is the one that really stands out, okay. but not just him. I think him and Ferguson as a pair, as, you know, as an ex-winger, I look and you think so often we get Johnson, Ebiselli, whoever it is on the wings in 1v1 situations and you want them to drive at the right back, the left back, put balls into the box. But if you're on the wing and you look up and you see only one target in there, you're thinking, maybe I'm running down a dead end here and you end up just coming back out and recycling the ball. And we've proven time and time again we want to be a possession-based team, but we struggle to break teams down. So when we get into a 1v1 situation, that's success for us now. Go and go go straight at it. Do not come back. Because as I say, we come back, you're allowing teams to recover, getting back into the units, and that's when we struggle to score goals. So what Mikey Johnson did, I would be just showing him that time and time again. Every time he comes into an Ireland camp, 1v1, run at people, two or three targets into the box, and we go from there. Aside from how it was achieved, Gary, we saw the full-time scenes and I know there was huge celebrations on the Irish bench, huge celebrations around the place. It's our final home game. There's been a fair bit of doom and gloom around the place. How much of a boost is that just to finish with a victory? I think it's massive. I call, Listen, we'll dissect it in terms of how they can get better. Yeah. And I would expect Heimer and his coaches to do exactly the same. And the players should do if they've got anything about them, which I think they do have. But in terms of getting that win, bearing in mind how many times that group of players have been punched in the face and had to deal with... with defeats or literally losing games where you thought they, they, they were virtually on the point of getting a point here or, or maybe a win. Finally now, they have won a game and it just bodes well for the future. It gives them a little bit of confidence to keep going because if you feel, if they'd have lost that game away yeah. to Finn and then again tonight, I, I just I wouldn't be able to see a way back for this group of players. I genuinely wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't.